we're about to. Hang on, let me get my board. Hey guys. All right, hey guys, it's Coach Victoria here. I've got level ones and level twos here with us today. Um, and we wanted to do our bar rotation with you because it is close to Christmas time. So they are acting extra crazy, extra wild today. And we only have two bars and 13 kids. So we wanted to show you how we manage that and still have an efficient and effective workout. Uh, let's get started with our warm up. Our warm up is pretty consistent. So I just say warm up and look, they already know kind of what to start doing there. Would you look at that, smart girls. Okay, push up position, we're gonna go 20 seconds. I'm gonna count down from 20 and coaches are gonna go around and we're making sure that they're in the correct position. Show shoulders over their hands and bottoms tight, head neutral. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do our crunch hold. Go ahead, lay on your back. Do your crunch hold. So laying down. Yep. That's it. Let's get that belly nice and tight. This is the shape that we need for our back hip circle, right? All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. And girls are gonna spread out. We want to practice our cast handstand stuff. So we are gonna kick up to a handstand and do three straddle downs the best that you can, okay? Make sure you don't kick each other. Okay. Straddle downs very slowly, very slowly. So they don't have pressed handstands just yet. And so one of the progressions that we use for a pressed handstand is a straddle down. So we have them do three straddle downs. Oh, that was really good, Callie. Audrey, could you get the, um, okay. let's see, eight inch mat underneath that bar, but like pull it out of the way because I got to do glide swings first. Wait, which one do you want where? Purple one is going to go under that bar, but not just yet because they have to do glide swings first. So like pull it too far. You know what I mean? Good, Callie. That was great. Callie, do you want to show them? Yeah. So this is a progression that we use for um, press handstands. Very nice, Callie. That, yeah, that's a progression we use for... Uh, press handstands and we want them to have press handstands for bars and so we use that for warm-up bars is, that's gonna help them with their cast handstands in the future all right girls but like I said we've got 13 kids today we've got two bars and uh, they're a little bit crazy because it's almost Christmas time these girls today are level ones and twos um, and so we're gonna show you how we make this happen so they already again are gonna know what to do because we do the same warm-up each day during um, preseason so it's level three warm-ups today. Well, actually they switch like week to week. It's level three warm-ups today. So here's what I need. Three glide swings in a row. Three glide swings in a row. And I've got level ones and level twos with me today. So we're doing upgrade warm-ups. So the level ones are actually gonna do level two warm-up. So that's a little bit confusing, but they know what to do. Three glide swings in a row. After you're done with that, just go to the back of the line. Let's get everybody to do their glide swings first. Everybody three glide swings in a row. We'll start with that. So we got two bars. Everybody's gonna do three glide swings to get warmed up on glide swings, grip strength, core strength, leg tightness. Try to flat hip extension. And this is just the warm up, so we're not doing a ton of correcting right now. And again, um, they're warming up their upgrade skills because we are at the point of in season where that's what we do. One week we do um, their current skills for warm ups, one week we do upgrade skills for warm ups. Good job. Girls, when you're done with your three glide swings in a row, please put your hands on your head so I know who's done. Thank you. Everybody's done with that? Not Everly? Okay, I see some girls over there. Girls, if you're not done, come to this bar. We've got room on this bar. Next, we're moving on to a pullover and three big casts. So Audrey, I'm gonna need the mat underneath that bar now. Everybody's got a pullover and three big casts and a double back hip circle. Pullover, three big casts and double back hip circle. 
This is just the warm up. So we do some shape warm up on the ground and they do a little bit of bar warm up and then we're gonna break up into stations. We just kind of try to get them on the bar doing something first to get warmed up, making sure that we never skip these skills. So we don't ever want to neglect their upgrade skills and so that's why during in season we do one week upgrade skills for warm up, one week um, their current skills. So they are actually warming up their next level skills. So double back and circle is new to them so they won't be perfect at it just yet. But we just want to make sure that they're getting the repetitions that they need in there. And thanks for watching our channel by the way. I saw some a comment come up down there. So it's pull over, it's three big casts, and a double back hip circle. One pull over, three big casts, and a double back hip circle. Callie's going crazy over there doing a little dancey dance in the background. Let's see how Ella's doing. Nice, Ella. Pretty good. These are upgrade skills, so again, not expecting them to be perfect. Just so that I can get a visual, if you have done your double back hip circle, put your hands on top of your head so I can see. If you've done your double back hip circle, put your hands on top of your head so I can see. All right, we're getting close. Yes. Yes. All right. We'll we'll try that at a different time. That sounds easy, but also like a lot of wrestling. It's just an attempt, also, so they don't have to quite make it. They just gotta attempt it. Kaylin, if there's any girls over there on that bar that aren't done yet, call them over. Good try, it's just an attempt, it's just an attempt. So move on, let somebody else go. The last thing for warm up, you can get one. The last thing for warm up is an attempt at a front hip circle. One front hip circle attempt. One front hip circle attempt. For level one, they can just do a forward roll down to a chin hang. What was the thing before that? Two cast, back hip circle, that's it because that's their upgrade skill. So level one upgrade skill is two casts back hip circle. Level threes are doing just three big casts and a double back hip circle. Good job, girl. And then level one's gonna do a forward roll down instead of a front hip circle. But these girls already know like what their warm ups are. Um, so they pretty much have this memorized. So that's why they're just, they're just going, they're just doing it. So we spend, we're probably going to be on bars for about 30 minutes. We spend the first 10 minutes just doing shape warm up and just making sure everybody gets through some reps of these skills. And then we break off into stations, which we are about to do. When we're at stations, I'll let you guys know kind of what we're going to be working on. Yes, Allie, do you have a question? Um, I need to, uh, You need what? You need what? Okay, go to the bathroom. That's fine. Okay, um, so at my bar we're going to be doing routines and they're going to be doing upgrade routines. So the level twos will be doing a level three routine and the level ones will be doing a level two routine. Um, and then we're going to work on kips if they finish those. At the single rail bar with Coach Kaylin, they're going to be working on straight arm jump to front support and then a cast up to the Alphong spotting blocks. Uh, this is going to help them with their kip casts in the future. Seems to be a problem when they come to level four that the kip cast to horizontal is an issue. And so we like to start resolving that issue in level one and level two. Uh, on the side with Coach Audrey, they're going to be working on a squat on drill with the baby bar. And they're going to be working on a tucked press handstand on the parallettes. It's one of our favorite drills to use for cast handstands. Again, cast handstands sometimes become an issue in the future. And so it's something that we like to work on mitigating those issues in um, the earlier levels. 
but as soon as they get done with warm up, looks like they're almost done with warm up, usually takes us about 10 minutes, then I'm going to explain the stations. We'll split up into the stations. Just letting Ellie finish up over there, and then we'll talk about the stations. All right, girls, turn your brains on. We have to be smart artistic gymnasts. Smart artistic gymnastics, because if you're not thinking, what are you doing? Stinking. You're stinking. You girls know the answer to that. We're actually thinking about releasing some merchandise that says, if you're not thinking, you're stinking. Um, and so if you would be interested in that, comment down below and let us know. But girls, we've got three separate stations that we're going to be working on today. With me, we are working upgrade routine. So that means if you are a level two, you'll be doing a level three routine. If you are a level one, you will be doing a level two routine. Can you show me that you're ready to learn? Oh my gosh, look at those girls. That's awesome. With Coach Kaylin over on the single rail bar, you are going to be doing jump to front support and then immediately cast up to the blocks. Now, what shape do we use when we jump to the front support? And then there's a shape that happens right before a cast. What was that? Come say it to the microphone. Tight compression. Tight compression, that's correct. Everybody just stick your feet out in front of you right now. Show me pike compression, compress. Yeah, so you want to lean that chest over there. Are we actually, yep, yep. Very good, I like Audrey's. Audrey's is really good. So that's a pike compression, and that's gonna load up for your cast. You know how like if your phone is dead, you gotta plug it into the wall and charge it, and then you can unplug it and use it, right? That's the same thing your pike compression is. That's charging it up for the big cast. What's up, Audrey? Which one is that? That's gonna be with Coach Kalen on the single rail bar. Nope, the single rail bar is the low bar, okay? And then with Coach Audrey, you girls get to work on squat on. So we're gonna be using our T trainer and our junior kit bar from Tumble Track. And we are just gonna have them get comfortable putting their feet on the bar. So you girls are gonna put your hands on the bar and jump and stick your feet in between. Stand up and balance and then jump off, okay? We're gonna be doing that. And with Coach uh, Audrey, you're also gonna be working on a tucked press handstand on the parallel bars, also from Tumble Track. What's up, girlfriend? Um, while we hold it, can we say hippopotamus? While you hold it, can you say hippopotamus? I don't know. Viewers, what do you think? Do you think that they should say hippopotamus when they're balancing on the bar? I think we should challenge you, and you girls should say, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, and then jump off the bar. Oh, you did? Oh. That's great. Wow. So all the third graders and fourth graders. Yes. You have 30 play. seconds to tell me the story. So then they started. So we got, all of us had to sing. And I had to scroll from eight to eight. eight that to sounds eight. really fun. Okay. It looks like Coach Kaylin and Coach Audrey are almost ready. So I'm going to start splitting you girls into groups here. Okay. So here's what I would like. Nope. We're not going to split you into groups. You are not splitting you into groups. Coach Victoria is going to split you into groups. Okay. So let's wait patiently. Look like we're ready to learn. Okay. I definitely want to keep my level ones together. So I would like to have Izzy and Everly together. And I'll also give you Olivia and Ellie. And so you girls are all going to go to Coach Kaylin. Okay. Great. Now I will have how much? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Perfect. This is going to be so great. Okay. Um, I am going to have. Let's just go one, two, three, four. You girls are going to go with Coach Audrey to side stations. And one, two, three, four, you girls are going to be with me for routines, okay? All right. Let's just get the camera set up where you guys are going to be able to see everybody working. Just one second, ladies. Let's not get started just yet. Audrey, don't get started just yet. Okay, so you see Coach Kaylin over there with the single rail bar and the Alphonse spotting blocks from Tumble Track. So she's going to be working on kip and cast connections so that we don't have any issues with that in level four. And then Audrey, you're going to stand in front of the bar because the biggest issue with squat-ons is them diving forwards and reaching their hands down. So you want to be ready to catch them because they will fall because they are new to this skill. So we've got them in the most safe place possible. But Audrey, I'd even like you to lower the bar a little bit more all the way down as far as it will go for that. Yep. And that will be great. Uh, and then, yep, perfect. And then they're going to work on their tuck press on, that para on those parallettes, so don't forget that station. Alrighty guys, so we have 16 minutes left of bars and we've got three stations. So I'm just going to divide that by three and that's how long we will stay at each station. So they'll have about five minutes at each station and then a little bit of time to rotate. Um, so I'm going to have Coach 
Uh, Coach Kaylin, can you set a timer for five minutes for me? And we'll rotate in five minutes. Good job, Ellie. Now they're trying to say, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, and then jump off. Okay, and don't forget your tucked press on the parallettes over there. We are doing upgrade routines, my girl, are you ready? Okay, let's talk about what's the upgrade routine. So what's the level three routine? It's gonna to be tough because it's not our routine yet, but obviously we have to start somewhere. It's, it's a level three routine, that's right, but we have to start somewhere, right? So just one glide swing. Pick those feet up, flat extension. So I'm gonna pull her here, I want to see nice extension. And back, good. Now pull over with nice tight legs together, squeezing quads, 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 quads. Over. Good, now you're going to do one cast in a double back hip circle. Pushing down on the bar, double. Move your wrists, move your wrists. Great job, pushing. And let's do our front hip circle. Cast. Good, now let's think about this first because this is one of the most dangerous skills in gymnastics is a squat on. So let's think about the squat on first. I'm going to get both feet on the bar and then stand up. Mm -hmm. That was a great try. I love it. You don't even need to repeat that for a long time and you're already doing really well at it. You can definitely blow your nose. Lillian, we're going to do an upgrade routine, okay? So that's going to be the level three routine. What are you thinking? It's going to be a smartistic gymnast? Okay, let's do it. Light swing. Flat. Good, good, good. Tight, good. Pull over. I'm going to poke her in the quads here. Where are your quads, Lillian? Are they above your knees or below your knees? Above your knees, and those help keep your What do your quads help keep these what? Bent or straight? Straight, that's right. Okay, big cast double circle. What shape do we do in a back hip circle? A pipe or a hollow? A hollow. What muscles do we need to squeeze to do that? Bottom on our belly, okay? All right. Push plug support. You know what's next. Great! That was so good. And then we're thinking, because this is one of the most dangerous skills in gymnastics, and so if we're going to do a quad on, we have to be thinking. Go ahead. That's a good try. Great try. Excellent. Ready? I'm judging you for talking later. Yep. Slide swing. Flat extension. Wow, I love that, man. So good. <gasps> Look at those. Don't even have to poke your quads. They're already tight. One big cast and a double back hip circle in your hollow shape. Woo! Front hip circle. I card at the end so that we've got compression. And squat on. Very cool, and I'm so glad that you left your hands on the bar because that kept. Did you see that on the live stream? I hope you caught that on the live stream. That was so interesting. Most of them squat on fall forwards, but I tried to fall backwards. But I grabbed her quad so that she didn't end up uh, on her neck. Uh, so that's basically the biggest thing with squatting is the kids don't end up on their neck. And um, so it may not always look pretty, but that was pretty cool. All right, level three routine. Emma, I'm glad you're safe. Flat extension, great job. Pull over. One big cast, double hold. Let's try that cast again. So the pipe compression happened on your hips. You kind of had it happen at a weird point on your body. Try that again. Double. Pushing, pushing, pushing. And front hips. Into a cast, push down on the bar, good. And squat on, it's very dangerous to squat on, so thinking, great, high. And we just pick the hands up and back, it's okay. Great. Okay, thank you. Tell me how much time we have left at this station. All right, girls, we're gonna try one kip each, okay? One kip. So holding nice and tight, ears covered. Lift your feet, come to me. So the bar. Okay, let's rock here, and then up on top of the bar. Great try. Good, and come on down. So I kind of stopped her when her toes were to the bar. She just looked a little confused while we were doing it, so 
we just took a breather and then we did a rock up to Kip and that was good. All right, Kip, you will once we switch stations. Oh, we're going to do a regular Kip, Lillian. Sorry, I saw you were watching her. We're just doing a regular old Kip. Good try, Lillian. Great. Girls, Ella, I need you to be ready to go. Do a Kip and then we're switching. Good. Very good. All right, girls. We are going to be doing upgrade routines. Okay, let me take a sip of my drink. Emma trying to dive backwards off that bar, made my mouth all dry. Because we're going to be doing upgrade routines. These two are my level ones, and so they'll be doing a level two routine. My level twos are going to try level three routines. But these are like brand, brand new level twos. They haven't even competed level two yet. So this is going to be a super challenge. What's up? My soap dry. You can get a drink. All right. We'll get another one. Okay. We're doing a level three routine. I'll talk you through it. Glide swing first. And make it beautiful. Full extension. Flat. Good. Pull over and squeeze your quads. Good. Now we're going to do one cast with two back hip circles. Big cast. I love the drop back there, holding the shapes. Good. We're going to try a front hip circle. To the pike, compression, and then cast. Good. Yep, just a cast. Compression, cast. Good. Now we're going to try a squat on. We're really thinking. Good try, honey. High five. Great. Okay, Olivia. We're going to do a jump glide swing. Flat. Good. Hey, Audrey, would you go cut that slide off? It's just buzzing in the background. Pull over. And big cast. Double back hip circle. Okay, push. Front hip circle. And cast. Good. And try your squat on. Oh, where are you going? Okay. I don't know what to tell you then, girlfriend. Okay. Great try. That was very brave. Ready? Have I gotten all my level twos? She already did. Three times. Hey, Miss Kaylee. She's saying her throat is dry. I told her to get a drink. She said she's gotten six drinks, so it might be time that we need to call a parent and maybe she might not be feeling well and might need to go home, Ellie. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. I mean, we tried to take a drink. It's not working. All right, step back. Okay, we are going to do an upgrade routine. Glide swing down, pull over. Flat, Bounce, pull over. Keep your hands on your bar, all right? Now we're going to do two casts, one back hip circle, under and dismount. Cast, cast, back hip circle. There's three. Yay! Good girl! That was excellent! All right, upgrade routines. You're going to try the level two routine. So start with a jump, glide, pull over. Glide, and then bounce on your feet and pull over. Two casts, back hip circle, I'm just going to dismount. Great try. Okay. Coach Kaylin, can you tell me how much time we have left before we rotate? Okay. Girls, who was up first? Would you like to try another level three routine? All right, let's do it. Glide swing, bounce, pull over. One cast, two back hip circles. Good job. Push. Front hip circle. Cast. Good. And we'll skip the squat on for now so we can get through them. All right, who's next? Olivia, let's go, girl. Level three routine. Try it. Just We're going to skip the squat on because we already did it on, on first time. Go ahead. Flat. Good. Pull over. Tight quad. Excellent job. Now, big cast, double back hip circle. Look at the bar. Squeezing, 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 pushing. 
Front hip circle. And cast. Great, come on down. All right, girls, who's next? Ready? Level two routine. Glide swing, keep your hands on the bar. Bounce pull over. That's correct. Two casts, double back. I mean, two casts, one back in circle. Under swing dismount. Whee! Great job, Izzy. Okay, Everly girl. Ready? Okay, level two routine. Glide swing, jump pull over. Two casts. One, two, hip circle. Under swing dismount. Great job. All right, girls. You did a great job. We are going to go ahead and rotate, okay? You can go to your next station. All right, on to our last station. Next, I've got level ones and twos with me. What? Are the level ones going to like die on They might. Okay. Um, I've got level ones and twos with me. We got 13 of them, and we've got two bars. But we've also got like our little junior kit bar over there. So we've got them into three groups. We spent 20 minutes uh, explaining and doing stations, 10 minutes for a warm up. Uh, on the real bar today. I know it's in season, but we never like to forget upgrades. We do upgrades all throughout compulsory, um, all the time, all season long, so that we are constantly thinking about the next step because we never want to get so caught up in making sure that everything is so, 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 so perfect because then we'll be stuck here forever. And that's definitely not what we want to do. So, Callie's going to show us her level three upgrade routine. So, it starts with a glide swing bounce pullover. Tight legs. Okay, flat extension. Keep the quad. Open the quad. Always make sure they know what to squeeze. One huge cast. Two circles. Okay. Use our shapes. Use our shapes correctly. That's the squeezing part. To a tight compression and tight cast. Great job. Now we're going to do a squat on, which is one of the most dangerous skills, so you need to be focused. Thank you. Great job, Callie. High five. Ready, Amelia? Are you thinking? Because if you're not thinking, what happens? You break a bone. Break a bone? No, what happens? You're not thinking, what happens? You're stinking. You girls know. Okay, ready? Let's do, just put your hands on the bar. Eyes on the bar. Pick up your feet and glide swing to full extension for me. Full extension, that was great extension. Pull over with tight legs. Now we're doing a level three routine. So you're going to do one cast and a double back. Great. Try your front hip circle. Cast. Great arms. Whoop. Great. All right. And try your squat on. You have to be thinking for a squat on. Okay? Okay. Great try. High five. Awesome. Okay. Ready, Ella? Level three upgrade routine. It's your chance to shine. Flat. Good. Use the quads on the pullover. Point the feet. Keep them together. One big cast, double back hip circle with nice shapes. Push, front support, good. Front hip circle. Cast, good, and squat on. Nice try, honey. Ready, Isabel? We're gonna do an upgrade routine, okay? Level three, glide swing bounce pullover. Flat, good, bounce pullover. Good. Okay. Next, you're going to do one big cast and a double back hip circle. Okay. okay. Push. Oh, yeah. Okay. From the circle. Push cast. Oh, we want to use that high compression to cast. Remember how we use high compression like battery, like we're loading it up? And then boom, boom, big cast. Squat on. Thinking. Thinking. Good try, honey. High five. I tried it with a toe. Yes, I'm you tried it toe. with a toe. All right, girls, let's do a kip. Yeah. Okay? Let's head. try kip cast. Go for it. Cast. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, level three, we do kip in it. Out of you. We want to try to use the pie compression like the station over there, right? Yeah. All right, get cast. That station, you know, when you do pie compression into your cast and cast. Good girl. Okay, who hasn't tried to kip yet? Isabel. Let's focus more on the bar and less on the chalk bucket, okay? That's the bar is going to make us. 
go to gymnastics with chalk bucket will not, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Kip cast. Oh, so so let's let's refocus, okay? Now we are all doing kip cast now, okay? So just think about that. Yep, toes come to bar. So you started in level 13, but we are up to a kip cast now. Are you ready for that? Go ahead. So in a kip, we've got to pull our toes to the bar, and then we get up on top of the bar. I know, I know you know what that is, right? I'm going to help you through it, but let's let's think about what we're doing. Are you ready? That's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Here we go. I know it's hard. Glide out. Toes to bar. Okay, so we'll rock into it. One, two, and then we're going up on top. Yes, and cast. So that was much better. Yeah, the cast has to come right out of the kip, okay? All right, I think we've got a little time to do a drop kip. Pull over with tight legs. If you pull over with tight legs, I'll let you do a drop kip. Tight feet together. Good, drop kip. Toes to the bar. Rock down. Rock back up. Good try. We want to try to get back up there. Try one more time, Callie girl. We're trying to get back up on the bar. Yep. Toes. And back up on the bar. Good try. That's excellent. Okay, girls. Come sit down right over here. Come sit down right over here. Let's quick review what we did today. So for our warm-ups, we started with a push-up position. What does a push-up position help us with? What? Our cast. Our cast. On bars. What's one thing about the push-up position? You're hollow in your belly, right? And in a cast, are you archy or hollow in your belly? Hollow. hollow. hollow yes. In belly. Then we did a crunch shape, which is also what? For an underswing dismount. dismount, but it's also what? Yeah, she said it, hollow. Oh. And our back hip circle and underswing dismount use that, right? Then we did handstand straddle downs. That's going to help us get handstand. And why do we need to press handstand? Why do we need to be working on them? What does that help us with? To make us stronger. Cast handstand on, hand on bars. That's the one. Now we came over here. We did a little bit of bar warm, make sure we got some reps of our skills in. But then we split up into three stations. Let's keep our eyes on Coach Victoria for right now. Looking like we're ready to learn. We split up into three stations. We got to work upgrade stuff. So upgrade stuff is just working on fun skills that we've been trying to piece together, right? But over there with Coach Audrey, what was, what was the purpose over there? You squatted onto the bar, but then were you trying to jump off right away or were you trying to balance? Balance. Balance. What did we have you say? I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. That's right. So we were trying to balance on the bar. Now, if you think you're going to jump to high bar for level four, right? When you go level four, you're jumped to high bar. Do you think you should squat onto the bar and launch yourself to the high bar? Or squat onto the bar, balance, look at the high bar, and then jump? Jump. Balance, jump. Look at the high so, bar and then jump. So that's why we're learning how to balance on the bar right now, right? Good. Okay, when you went over with Coach Kayla, and that's probably the most important station because you were doing jump to a pike compression. And then what did the pike compression go to next? A cast. A cast. A cast. Now, what else ends in a pike compression and then goes to a cast? That's a tough one. What else? Mm -mm. What skill for level four? Oh, kip. A kip ends in a pike compression and well, goes into a cast. That is correct. It's what? It's a level three and four. It's for level three and four. That's right. We mostly have um, our level threes do kips. All right, girls. So you girls got a lot done at bars today, didn't you? Yes. Good job. That was super efficient. I think you girls are going to snack break now. So go ahead and go to snack break. What's up? You have something for me? Okay. I will take it. Oh, they're saying bye. Bye bye. Bye. Give us a like, subscribe to our Christmas. channel, Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays.